Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are doing another viewer requested figure which is the Indigo Lantern Atom from the DCUC line and as much as I absolutely hate this design, it's just so unappealing to me, it's an incredibly well done figure, easily one of the top DCUC figures that they ever put out. I'm gonna go through it all so you can see but it's just really, really good. Not perfect, but pretty darn good. All right, he stands at about six and three quarter inches tall, which puts him at about 17 centimeters. He comes with an accessory, which is this long club slash maybe pipe, uh, high lie racket thing, whatever that's called. I'm not sure what it is. It's a thing. Maybe it's just a club. I don't know, but there is some shading in it, so and it's sculpted well, so that's good. Now the figure. Look at all that sculpt work, all that unique sculpt work for all the people that say DCUC figures don't get unique sculpt work. Even the ones that use the same body parts often have unique sculpt work, so take that, you people. And paint-wise, there's a ton of paint on this guy. There's tons of shading for the flesh. All of that blue paint work on the flesh, which is all the tattoo work and all that, other than a little bit back here, it's super clean. Really, really well done. All of the lines are crisp, there's no fuzziness, there's no transparency, it looks really, really good. Mine has not the best face paint, I'm assuming that's just an error because they painted everything else so well, I probably just got a, a dud. That's my guess, I don't know for sure. They painted the and molded the silver necklace really well. Uh, the face is all sculpted also, by the way, so that's good. The hair has a nice sculpt and shading. This metallic shoulder pad looks really good, this other shoulder piece looks really good. So well done. The strap that comes down around is good. He's got a really nice belt with his Adam logo, which is also done really well. Everything on this guy is so cool. They did such a nice job on it. The bracelet things, the gauntlet, the indigo ring. Even his boots have new boots and tassels. They really put a lot of effort into this. Maybe the guy making the figures, designing them, really likes the indigo lantern, and that's why it ended up so awesome. I don't know. I don't care, it turned out really great. As far as the articulation goes, the head can look up and down, side to side, even a little bit of leaning to give him some attitude, so that's good. Shoulders, he's got big shoulders on the smaller build, so it doesn't have the greatest range, but it's enough. Full ball hinge, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow gives you almost 90 degrees. We have the wrist swivel and the gripping hand for either side. The ab crunch works just fine. Uh, unfortunately, they made the O so that it works like that, and then also like that, so you kind of have to pretend that there's not that other part up there. But they had to do something, so I guess that's okay. Uh, waist twist is there just fine. The hips still work despite the skirt. You bring the legs forward, bring them out to the side. We have a thigh swivel, single jointed knee, which gives you about 90 degrees. The ankles have a nice range of motion. No ankle rocker, unfortunately, no toe articulation, but the ankles do work pretty well. My biggest drawback on this guy, and it's not that noticeable because of the skirt thing, the reds don't match. The knee red and the thigh red is a different, or are different shades. That's unfortunate, but it's easy to overlook that issue because it's kind of hidden and because the rest of the figure is just so darn good. I easily recommend this guy. Um, I, I guess because he's the Indigo Lantern Adam, he's not nearly as essential a character as some other ones, but he's probably on discount aisles if he's still around at all. So if you can get him for a good price and you just like collecting cool figures, get him. You won't be disappointed. He's pretty nice. There it is. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.